Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. How are you doing today? Fine, good. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Henry. How are you? Fine. Excellent. Okay. Yo so Henry today with me. Los otros están shy today. Are you shy? Andan tímidos? Are you shy today? Or not? Well, anyways, so if you want to or not, welcome to the class. I really um, appreciate that you're here on time. Always punctuality for me, it's very important. Maybe I was a little bit late today because I was with another group, but now I'm here with you so we can continue. And welcome to this one that is, I believe, your second week. Um, after this one, you know, one, two, we have three more weeks to go. As you know, this uh, module is five weeks long. So we're going to have a little bit of time to work on extra activities, OK? Now, uh, we're going to continue with the topics we have been practicing. And we're going to do like a review, basically, of the unit number one and starting unit number two, okay? So we can go with that because, um, wait a moment. Because, you know, we have five weeks. So we have a little bit more of time to do like conversational activities, to do some practices, but don't forget to always be working on the platform because the platform is very important. If we finish the platform before we finish the classes, that is okay. But we have to be on time with that, okay? So we're gonna continue with a little bit of the platform today because I think Johnny, I don't think, I don't know. I don't see Johnny. Johnny. Yes, miss. Yeah, Johnny was yes. asking me about some exercises earlier and we're gonna see those exercises in a little bit, okay, Johnny? Okay, I is the exercise. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah, tell me what yeah. the exercise is. Uh, I show you the exercise. It's 2.11. Two point yeah. 2.11. Let me check. And exercise number five. 2.11, exercise five. Okay, give me a moment. Five. Wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Yeah, it's that. But I think, creo que el problema es que um, el wouldn't, pareciera que está con un um, tilde, no un apostrophe. But um, let me, le voy a mandar la respuesta. I'm going to send you the answer. Si lo copio y lo vega así exactamente, maybe it's going to help you. Ok. Es 2.11. Or maybe, I think el question mark va muy separado. Veamos si lo ponemos junto. If that works. Ah. Tiene que poner cualquier opción. Todo. Para que, oh my God, tengo que contestar todo. Esto lo pongo en los puntitos. Bueno, oh, ahí está. Ajá, miren, si le pongo, eh, es que eso es el problema, Johnny. Está, debe ser separado el, el, el question mark, porque así lo reconoce la plataforma. Mire, ahí está. There you go. You can wow. see. Yeah. Sí. That's the mistake. It's a platform mistake. Yeah. Ah, okay. Thank yeah. you, Miss. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. So, yes, I know we have some problems. We're going to continue today working on the platform. And I appreciate the ones that are working in the platform ahead, right? They work in the platform before we get there. Okay. Now, let's continue. Okay. So, 
Good evening to the ones that are just connecting to the class. Thank you very much for being here. And I hope you had a really, really, really good weekend, that you had some time to rest, some time to be at your house, and some time to relax, okay? Now we're gonna continue because we need to continue today. And I'm gonna start with the attendance. As you know, attendance is the first thing we do when we come to the class. So please turn on your cameras and when you say, present till I'm here, turn on your microphone, okay? Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodriguez. Present, Miss. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present. Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Present, Miss. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Henry Adonai Torres Gómez. Present, Miss. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, Miss. Feeling better, Jacobo? Eh, so, so. Okay. Hope you get better. Jenis Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Present, Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Okay. Jonathan José Oliva Enríquez. Excelente. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Belgar. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, Miss. You have the flu, María? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. More, more. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. No. Oscar René Molina Calidonia. Present, Miss. Okay. O sea, Figueroa Cisneros. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Tabarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, Miss. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Present, Miss. ¿Le han dado solución de la plataforma, Javier? No, teacher. Bye. Voy a volver a preguntar. Jacqueline Nisette García Miranda. Wow, me faltan varios. I need like a lot of Hi, I'm here, Miss. Sandra. Hi, Miss. Hi, welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay. Como no, dime si es cierto. Con la llave, ¿no? Con la llave, no. No, con la llave, no. Vamos a apagar el audio. Remember to have the microphones off all the time because sometimes we are doing things at home, right? Okay, anyways, um, I was saying before, we're going to continue now. And, but just let me, quiero mandar un mensaje a WhatsApp a ustedes mismos. Because I, estamos, nos faltan varios students. Vamos a mandarles un mensajito por acá. Hello, we are... Cada minuto cuenta para su asistencia. Remember that. Okay. That is very, very important. Okay. Anyways. So right now, 
I will, I would like to do an activity, like a conversational activity, like an icebreaker. Icebreaker is romper el hielo, okay? We're gonna do an icebreaker activity. And in this activity, we're gonna practice the past. We already saw how we use the past in English. So I would like to know how was your weekend, okay? You will tell me a little bit about your weekend, for example, a little bit about Saturday and a little bit about Sunday. You're gonna tell me the activities you did, but remember to use the verbs in the past. For example, I'm gonna summarize my weekend for you. Let me remember, hmm, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. What did I do on Saturday? Hmm, I don't remember what I did on Saturday. Saturday, I stayed home. Oh, no, no, yeah, I remember. Okay, Saturday, I stayed home all day. In the evening, I went to Usulutan City. I went to go to Paseo El Calvario, what that is called. I went in to buy some things in the supermarket, at the supermarket. Then I ate um, some food out mm, and then I came home. On Sunday, on Sunday morning, I stayed home. Then I went to my in-laws. I went and we had lunch with all the family. And then I went to road and I rode my motorcycle. And I was really excited because I like it. And then I went to have some dessert. And finally, I came back home at around 5 p.m. At night or in the evening, I watched TV. Watched, you see, watched. So what I want you to do is to use the verbs in the past. So for example, if I ask Oseas, Oscar, Henry, Anna, um, Jenny, Clelia, Lisette, whatever, I ask them, how was your weekend? What did you do on your weekend? You're gonna describe the activities. Please, let's try to speak only English in this activity, okay? Because it's a conversational practice and a practice of the verbs in the past. You got it? Do we got it? Do we get it? Yes, miss. Okay. Got it, got it. A question. Do you hear me like blur, like se escucha cortado or not? No, no miss. Can you hear me? Perfect. I listen on perfect. Okay. Everything okay? Okay, thank you very much. So let's go and do the activity, a nice break in activity. As long as you can talk. If you want to talk a lot, if you want to talk a little, that is okay. I just want you to practice, okay? This is an opportunity for you to speak because most of the time I'm speaking and that is not correct.
Please excuse me. Tell me, Ramiro. Please return me to the uh, my room is uh, room uh, number two, please. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mayra, Eric, welcome to the class. Thank you, Miss. I'm going to send you to a break room. They are talking about the weekend. How was the weekend? Okay. This is a practice. Okay, Miss. Rafael, welcome to the class. Me se fue la señal del internet. Estaba en el. Okay, Jenny, don't worry. Rafael, Yo welcome. Okay, your Thank classmates you. are practicing uh, about what they did on the weekend. Okay, they are talking about weekend activities. Okay. Okay.
Sunday, I rest all day. Rest? Only? Only rest? Yes. I was sleeping. Wow. I am work. Do, do, do not worry. Now is in the work. Okay. In Saturday, no, Sunday, Saturday. In Saturday, work. All day. All day. Work. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody more talking the last weekend. <laughs> yes, uh, the last. <laughs> yes, no, no problem. My my weekend, the last the the last Saturday. I watched TV, sports, basically, uh, soccer, basketball, uh, race, uh, the cars, uh, all the Saturday. Uh, really was uh, very, very rest. And the Sunday, very early in the morning, I go to the church with my family and breakfast before. Jocelyn, welcome to the class. Hi, Miss. good night. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. I'm late because I was driving to my home. Okay. Sometimes when you are driving, you can connect uh, only as a list and as a oyete, okay? So your minutes okay. count para que siempre le cuente los minutos, okay? Okay, miss. Okay, now your classmates are coming back from the activity we were doing, okay? So we're gonna wait for that. Okay, okay. Welcome back. So now, just remember, when we go and we do activities, it's for your own good. Remember, this is for you to practice, for you to improve, for you to uh, practice the abilities or the vocabulary that we already know, right? Because if you go to the break rooms and you are silent and you don't speak and stuff like that, that is bad for you because you don't practice. Remember, we want to practice. Yes? Okay, <laughs> perfect. Now, I would like to share some vocabularies with you related to restaurants, okay? This is the first vocabulary that I'm gonna share.
Oh, I'm sorry, I have allergies. Okay, this is the first vocabulary we're going to learn. I can order in a restaurant. You can see the table here, and we have the names of every single thing in this part. For example, number one, this is glass of red wine, because you can see it's a red wine. The number two is salt and black pepper. Number three is a bottle of mineral water, okay? Bottle of mineral water. Number four is oil, oil, aceite. Number five is vinegar, vinegar. Number six is a glass of white wine. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry. Ah, allergies. Okay, number seven, this one right here is a napkin, the same as this, napkin, servilleta. Number eight is a bowl, bowl. Number nine, a plate, plate. Number 10, fork, fork. Number 11, knife. This is a knife as well. And number 12, spoon, spoon, okay? This is vocabulary that we can have in a restaurant. Right. Let me share. Oh, yeah, you send it. Thank you. Thank you for sending it to the chat. This is a vocabulary we can have in a restaurant. Then another vocabulary we can have is this. Look at this. This here. Boiled rice. Fried eggs. Eh, esos son fritos, right? If you want to say the other ones. Revueltos, scramble, scramble, okay, scramble eggs, grilled fish, roast chicken, and then we have the uh the cookings of meat, okay. Como cocinamos la carne? Rare is a eh, casi el animal medio vivo, right? Rare. Then we have medium, medium or medium rare. Okay, ese es como eh, medio, medio sí, medio no, pero medio cosito todavía. And then we have well done. Well done es bien, bien cocido, que toda la carne esté seca. Right, eso es well done, tampoco así no me gusta. <laughs> well done, okay. Tenemos el, las terminaciones carnes, okay, meat. Okay, I'm going to send you, o sea, si pueden enviar eso, perfect. If not, voy a enviarles pronunciation. Okay. Number one, glass of red wine. Number two, salt. And, oh, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah. tengo un segundo. Te lo voy a mandar desde aquí de la aplicación de WhatsApp. Se escucha mejor. Ok. Number one, glass of red wine. Number two, salt and black pepper. Number three, bottle of mineral water. Number four, oil. Five, vinegar. Six, glass of white wine. Seven, napkin. Eight, bowl. Nine, plate. Ten, fork. Eleven, knife. Twelve, spoon. I'm sorry, vamos con el siguiente. Boiled rice. Fried eggs. Grilled fish. Roast chicken. Steak can be. 
rare, medium, well done. Ok, ahí tienen vocabulary para practicar porque después vamos a hacer una activity con ese vocabulary. Ok, yes, you got it. Ok, so what are we going to do? I have the question. Tell this me. Battle rice. How do you say in Spanish battle rice? How do I say in Spanish what? Bottle rice. Bottle rice. Let me check. <laughs> eh, eh, ¿Cuál imagen lo, lo vio? ¿Será la primera? ¿En la primera? En la primera. Después de la segunda. Boiled rice. Oh, el bowl. El bowl. bowl. Espérame, la voy a mostrar y me dice si es eso. Sí, sí, es, es pero el bol. ¿Es este? Sí, pero... ¿Ese es el que me pregunta? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. It's boiled rice. Boiled. Boiled, boiled, primero dígamelo bien en inglés. <laughs> boiled rice. Boiled rice. ¿Qué significa arroz hervido? O arroz oh, cocido. No, arroz cocido. Okay. Claro, no es arroz frito, solamente por agua, right? Ok, es boiled. Es que vi una T ahí, por eso yo boiled. Yo vi una T. Pero no, no lo dice escribí. boiled. Escribí. Recuerde que la E, la E no se pronuncia. Eso es boiled. Boiled. Ok. Boiled okay. rice. Boil rice. Boil rice. Correct. So we're going to go and practice right now. Vamos a ir a practicar este vocabulary. You, tiene, you have the, the pronunciation and you have the pictures, okay? Everybody practicing. If in your break room, your classmates are not participating, okay? You call me, you send me a, a, a request there, and I'm going to go y voy a disolver ese grupo, okay? If your classmates are not practicing, si usted no me llama, voy a asumir que es de los, los classmates que no están practicando, ¿ok? Llámeme si no están practicando para yo deshacer esos grupos. Vámonos ahí, please. Mención de break rooms. Silvia Patricia, are you there? Hello. No. Okay. Hi, Silvia.
puede apagar su cámara si gusta para que no le dé problema el internet. Ay, no. Sí, es que del celular nunca solo me reconecta, estaba en el, me redireccionó al salón 2, pero nunca logró conectarme. Ok, ahorita. ahorita. La Gracias. There you go. Hello, Miss. Podría agregar en el grupo número dos, please. Hello, Eric. Hello, Miss. Podría agregar al grupo número dos. Yes. Ya, estoy conectado. Ok. Gracias. Ahí está.
Hello, was that enough time? Si les de suficiente tiempo, ya, yeah? no? Um, yeah. Dice es que nosotros éramos bastantes, casi no, a medias nos quedamos. ¿Se quedaron a medias? ¿Los demás? Éramos, éramos muchos, yo te iba a ir hacia abajo. Oh, oh. <risa> okay. Do you think you need extra time? Eh, no sé si quiere traficar ahí, levante la mano y si quiere que volvamos. Do you think you need extra time? <laughs> yes, okay. please. Okay. Okay, I'm going to ask randomly. O sea, do you need extra time? No. <laughs> I think I was the only one that, that came to practice the second oh. thing. You're the only one, okay? <laughs> so we need extra time. Ramiro, Sorry do you need extra one. time? No, in my room, all, all practice once. Okay, all practice only once. Once. Okay, perfect, perfect. Nice. We're gonna, um, I'm going to give you some extra vocabulary here, okay? Okay, so these are some, uh, like, in the menu, you can have these dishes, okay? Okay, these dishes. We have starters. You know what is a starter, right? What is a starter? Appetizer. Appetizer, correct. Appetizer. Then we have the main courses and we have the desserts. Now, we, you can see here different vocabulary words with different pictures. And this is a short menu we have. For starters, we have tomato soup, grilled prawns in soy sauce, okay? In soy sauce, this is soy sauce, okay? Mussels in white wine and garlic. Would you know what is garlic? Ajo. 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 For main courses, we have pan fried tuna, Pan no significa pan, pan es cacerola. Pan fried tuna with green beans. Fielded steak. Y aquí va una pregunta para ustedes. ¿Ustedes ya han comido bistec? Yes. 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 ¿Y saben de dónde viene esa palabra? Beef steak. ¿Cuál es el que tiene ya cebolla y carne? Yes. Pero viene ah, del yo beef, la como beef steak. Beef steak. Es beef de, de carne de res, ¿verdad? Beef steak. Steak es el trozo de carne. ¿Ok? Y de ahí nosotros lo modificamos y dije, ¿cómo dice? Bistec dice. Ah, bistec es. Ah, vaya, bistec le vamos a decir los salvadoreños. ¿okay? Le decimos bistec. Bistec. Pero lo correcto es beef steak, ¿right? Así que. Okay, then we have a fillet steak, like guess I'm eating steak, with chips and mushrooms. Do you know what are mushrooms? Hongos. Correct. But no hongos, they're so malos, right? No. <laughs> yes. Roast duck with cabbage and peas, grilled chicken with boiled potatoes, cheese tart, this is a tart, with mixed salad. Mm -hmm. Desserts, apple tart, this is a tart as well. Ice, Ice cream, cream with chocolate sauce. Uh, so. Okay, so this is another vocabulary. So you can take a screenshot. Yo les voy a mandar. Okay. And I think you have uh, questions about some words or do you don't you don't miss uh, can repeat please mixed salad mixed salad mixed mixed mixed, mixed. no mixed no mixed like a t at the end mixed salad mixed meat mm -hmm. okay thank you miss yeah excuse me i have a I, I have three questions. You have three and questions? Yes. The number okay. one, grilled, grilled prawns. Okay, grilled, 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 no grilled, grilled. 
grilled. Grilled. Remember the verbs in the past? Grilled. Prawns. It's like trim. Do you know what is trim? No. Tomarones. Yeah, correct. Tomarones, of course. Yeah. Prawns we, are we like prawns. Prawns. Like in Spain, in Spain, they don't call it trim, they call it gambas. Yeah. Griller prawns. Prawns in yeah. soy sauce. Eh, son camarones en salsa de soya. Correct. Next okay. question, Ramiro. Yes. Um, roast duck with cabbage and peas. Es eh, pato okay. rosizado yeah. con. Eh, que ustedes llaman en el buen no, español. Awesome. No. Cabbage. Cabbage. cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. Con no. Yeah. Cabbage. What is cabbage? Excuse me. Wait. It's like um what is this? Letos? Like letos? But the one that you need to chicken. Red chicken. Red chicken. Yeah, correct. Cabbage uh, is repollo and peas. Peas uh, son frijoles. No, son peas on the uh, no, no. cabbage is wait a minute. Sí, son... Aquellas cositas verdes. Ya, yeah, es repollo. Repollo, 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 lechuga. lechuga. Es like lechuga. Lechus. Es leros. Lechus. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el uh -huh. otro? Pis. Le eh, oh, pis. Son eh, guisantes, yes. Remember Black Eyed Peas. Ya, yeah, ¿se acuerdan que les decía los de Black Eyed Peas? Ese, los black eyed peas son las, las aquellas que se ponen a congelar y you can put it in your eye or you can put it like anywhere. Okay. Peace. I have a question. Do you know what muscles is? Muscles. No. <laughs> no. Nadie me ha preguntado muscles. So I guess you know what it is. Mejillones. <laughs> exactly, that's what it is. Yes. Uh, is the synonym of oysters? <laughs> oysters, yeah. Oysters, yeah. Yeah. Thank okay. you. So we can go and practice with this vocabulary now as well. Okay. I'm going to go uh, to the same rooms. I'm going to go to the same rooms, okay? Miss, hello.
Hello. So now we're going to continue. Okay, and this is a um, vocabulary you're going to use when you go to a restaurant. Vocabulary, como se necesita, when you go to a restaurant, okay? So when the waitress or the waiter ask you, are you ready to order? That means, do you know what you want to eat? Okay, are you ready to order? You're going to answer, yes, I am. No, I'm not. I'll have. So this is very important when you order something in English, okay? I'll have. No, wait, wait, wait. Only this part. Let me mark it. This one. I'll have. Because it's better if you say I'll have. Sometimes it can be a little bit offensive if you say I want, okay? And in, in English, it's not like Spanish, you know? You cannot say, yo quiero, voy a querer tal cosa. You say, I'll have, okay? And that's going to sound better. I'll have, okay? I'll have steak. That means, I like steak. I want steak sounds a little bit too, like, I don't know, strange. It's better, I'll have or I will like. How would you like your steak? In this case, we're going to apply the vocabulary that we just learned. If you will like your steak, rare, medium, or well done. Remember, rare is the animal almost alive. <laughs> medium is medium cook. And well done is really, really, really good cook. Okay. Then we have two types of water. Still water means water without gas just water yes someone say miss miss one one question is in the uh, like your steak tres cuartos medium it's medium yeah it's medium it's medium medium uh, is medium well cooked yo diría medium pero bien cocinado well cooked Medium well, well cooked. cooked. Okay. Medium well cooked. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes, those are really what it is. Sandra. How how question. Stay rare. Uh, how do you say in Spanish traduc tra traducido? No, okay. no tiene una traducción. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, acabamos de practicar su vocabulario, Sandra. What yes. is a steak? Yes, a steak. Lo que pasa es que ya lo buscamos en el, estuvimos buscándolo en el diccionario <risa> y, y no lo okay. encontramos como okay. steak. Okay. 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 Rare steak es, steak es el filete, right? But rare es la cocción mínima que existe para una carne. ¿Cómo Pero le llaman no a eso ustedes? No se puede traducir, ¿verdad? Eso, como en español. Okay. I think you can do it. Yes. It's a blue, blue. It's azul, azul, medio, tres cuartos y bien cocido. Okay, so Mayra, azul is in Spanish rare? Rare, yes. Okay. Wait a minute. No. I don't know. Poco cocido, dice aquí. Poco hecho. Sí, en la terminología de los chefs ejecutivos, the executive uh -huh. chef, is the término azul. Término azul, wow. Yeah. Mayra, Mayra, you have a really good voice. La acabo de escuchar así como like, yeah, you have a really good voice. <laughs> yes, in the recruitment process, is the executive chef, is I know. Azul. Okay. Yes. Azul, wow, excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Miss. Okay, so rare, rare is like that, right? Like, y aquí dice también vuelta y vuelta, o sea, solo ponen la carne que se queme de un ladito, se queme del otro ladito, <laughs> y el medio vivo, palpitando aquello, right? Still alive. Okay, thank you, Mayra, thank you for that knowledge. Okay, then we have two types of water. The water that we all drink all the time, that is still water. 
is water without gas. Then you have a sparkling water, like a new brand that is very popular. It's, um, what is this brand? I don't remember. Salutaris. 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 Yeah, exactly. Oh. So sparkling water, water with gas. That's the difference between these two. Then a meal, you know what is a meal already. It's a whole food. It's breakfast, it's lunch, or it's dinner. They are meals, complete food, complete dishes. Then we have two uh, like confirmations. Of course, sure, certainly. These yeah. are phrases that mean yes, no problem. Javier? I don't understand. Meal is used with breakfast or... Or Bre meal meal is a complete food it can ah. be your breakfast it can be your lunch or it can be your dinner right it's a complete break uh, it's a complete food not a kind of food that for example is a snack or an appetizer or just a drink a meal is something that is complete okay Thank you. Okay. Then the bill. This is the this is the worst part <laughs> when you go out to eat. The bill, right? The bill is a piece of paper which shows the money you must pay for the meal that you had eaten, right? So this is vocabulary you're gonna use in restaurants. If you want to take a screenshot, you can take a screenshot. If you want to send it to the WhatsApp group, I'll appreciate that. Based on this glossary that we have here, I'm going to show you a conversation where they are using these phrases. Okay. Here is the conversation. This is the conversation. In this conversation, we have a waiter and a customer. What is customer, remember? Cliente. Cliente. Correct. So we have a waiter and a customer. I'm gonna read the conversation first time slow, then the second time with intonation. Are you ready to order? Yes. I'll have the fillet steak. And how would you like your steak? Rare, please. And I like a glass of red wine and some mineral water. Still or sparkling? Sparkling, fine. The cello se va, the waiter leaves, and whatever. Later in the meal. Could I have another glass of wine? Yes, of course. Oh, and some more water, please. Certainly. Would you like to see the dessert menu? No, thanks. But I'll have a coffee. And could I have the bill, please? Yes, sure. Yeah, we know the, the meanings already. Because we study first the glossary and now we know the meanings. Do you need me to repeat the specific pronunciation in this case? Yes, uh, it is sparkling. Sparkling? Sparkling. Sparkling. Okay. Okay. Another one? Means uh, certainly. 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 Okay. Thanks. Okay. Remember, you can raise your Please, hand. I want to ask something about the water. Okay. What's the difference, what's the difference when I when I when I say still was sparkling? Okay. <clears throat> sparkling water. Lo acabamos de ver en el glosario, se lo voy a volver a Yes, I, yes, I, I saw, but... Sparkling I... water is water with gas. And still water is water, normal water, without gas. Um, 
Yes? Okay. Water without gas. Yeah. Sparkling is with gas. Steel is without gas. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Another question? No, thanks. Okay, no more questions then. Then I'm gonna do it with Indonesia. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'll have the flat steak. And how would you like your steak? Rare, please. And I like a glass of red wine and some mineral water. Steel or sparkly? Sparkly. Fine. Later in the meal, that means después. Could I have another glass of wine? Yes, of course. Oh, and some more water, please. Certainly. Later in the meal. Would you like to see dessert menu? No, thanks. But I'll have a coffee. And could I have the bill, please? Yes, sure. I'm going to send you the audio now. <laughs> oh, my God. Sick. Are you ready to order? Yes. I'll have the fillet steak. And would you like... <sighs> Sorry. Ya me equivoqué toda. Dame un segundo. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'll have the fillet steak. And how would you like your steak? Rare, please. And I like of... I like... Ay, okay, qué barbaridad que me está pasando. Ah, le mando a uno. Creo que ya. Ya. Yeah. Are you ready to order? Yes. I'll have the fillet steak. And how would you like your steak? Rare, please. And I like a glass of red wine. And some mineral water. Steel or sparkling? Sparkling. Fine. Later in the meal. Could I have another glass of wine? Yes, of course. Oh, and some more water, please. Certainly. Would you like to see the dessert menu? No, thanks. But I'll have a coffee. And could I have the bill, please? Yes, sure. Okay, so in this case, we're going to go practice thinking that we are the customer and we are the waiter. Remember, if in your room there's people quiet and nobody is participating, you can call me, okay? You can call me y yo voy a ir a deshacer ese. Yes? Because we need to practice, we need to be practicing, and that's how we are going to do it, okay? Let me see this group, this group. I think we have good groups.
a coffee. And I could have a bill, please. Yes, sure. Okay, Julio, uh, you are waiter now. Okay. Are you ready? Sparkling. Fine. Later in the meal. Could I have another glass of wine? Yes, of course. Oh, and some more water, please. Certainly. Sure. Now we can we can change the the order. You start. Okay. Are you ready the order? Yes, I have the fillet steak. And how will you like in the steak? And how do you like your steak? Right, please. And I like a glass of red wine and some mineral water.
Okay. So now let me explain this. How we use, because frequently we mistake the uses of these nouns. To say another or to say some more. Another, when we say another, means only one more. For example, if you say, I will have another water, that is incorrect, right? Because you will have some more water. One more, you can use it, for example, I will have another slide of pizza, pizza right? I will have another beer. I will have another glass of wine. Another, that means only one more. And specifically, you will use these with countable nouns, things that we can count. Example, another glass, another biscuit, another apple. Now, when we say some more, that means something we don't know the quantity of. For example, it's an uncountable noun. So we use some more with uncountable nouns. For example, I would like some more water. I would like some more wine. I would like some more bread. Okay. But in the case you know how many breads you want, for example, like a, bit, a piece of bread, you will say, I have another piece of bread. Okay. This is very important for you to know. Because this is vocabulary that you can use in a restaurant as well. Now, because we have learned a lot of vocabulary, and we also have learned a lot of uh, things we can say in a restaurant, we are going to do now the whole activity. Okay? I'm going to send you the link to this activity. It won't take you a long time. It will be easy, I promise. And we're going to do it. So here, look at the pictures, this one that we know, and complete each phrase. For example, with the letters they are missing. Here one, in this one, K-F-E, it was missing an I. This one, what do you think what? is this one? Fork. Fork, and it's only missing the letter O and the letter R. 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 Okay. What do you think is this? One, two, three letters, four letters in total. Oh, oh knife. Oh, oh. no. Knife. Oh. Look. B O O N. B O O N. Oh. B -O -O -N. Oh. And did, here we have the N. Look. Okay. B O O. Spoon. 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 <laughs> Correct. You were going to do it like that. Okay. Uh, so On restaurant tables in my country, we usually or sometimes have. No, this one, don't do this one. Okay. Number two, no. No, this part, no. Then let's go here. In this part, you're going to write true or false based on what we have learned. Okay. You eat. The starter after the main course. That is false because the starter is the first dish you eat, right? And after that, you eat the main course. So, next one. You eat ice cream with a knife and a fork. That is true or false? False. So, we write the letter F. Then, let's go here. Complete the sentences. I like roast chicken. I love ice cream. cream. Ice cream. Could I have the fillet? Steak. Uh -huh. You see, you're ready to do this. Look at the menu, write your answers, or ask another student which starter would you like. Or you can practice this. This can be just practice, conversational practice. You don't have to write it, okay? Number six, you don't have to write it. This one, we did it already, so we don't need to do it. Now, in this, you're going to circle the correct part. Could I have some more or another potatoes? Some more. Some more potatoes. Because another potatoes, otra papas, that is not correct. Okay. Then, 
Let's go here. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'll uh, we have. Have, have. have. Yes, I'll have. And would you like it? And um, how? 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 Would you like it? Would... Oh, no, no, how? Yes, no, how. how. Because we have how. Only we... how. Yeah, only how, correct. And then we're going to click on terminal. We're going to check here. And you see, it's not difficult, right? It is not difficult. Do you understand the activity we're doing in this moment? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. You have the link. We're going to go and we're going to practice. You know, if you, are, you have classmates that are not participating in the room, you can tell me, I'm gonna go there and you know how it's going to be, okay? Because I need participation more than anything else. Okay, let me see. Okay, I think I have a good, good record.
el pato tiene un boil rice o potato balls Right, yeah. Potato. Potato. And you have cheese or apple tart. Apple tart. I know the people are here. Scoring. Browse, please. Yes, certainly. Mm. Are you ready to order? Yes, I will have the say. And how would you like it? Uh, right, please, and bottle of the well. Yes, of. Estamos todos participando. Everybody participating. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, still or sparkling. Okay. Sparkling, sparkling. Still, please. Oh, Conversation I... two. Could I have another is. Uh, uh, we have a delicious. Uh, meal Ooh. last night. Meal, 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 meal is meal. a complete food. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. yes. yes, cool. yes of course, of course, of, of course. course. Yes, could I have? Could I have the bill, please? Know. I yeah. will have the prompts, please. The bills, please. I the have bill. the prompts, please. Yeah. Yes. Number certainly. eight, yes, certainly. Certainly, yes. yes. Do you agree? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Complete, complete the conversation. Okay. Next. So, are you sure with sauce? O U C E. Oh. Uh, okay. Let me check in the. Translate that from from Google. Sauce, sauce, sauce. Um, S A U C E. Mm -hmm. S A. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sauce. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Nabal looks at the menu, write your answer, or as another student. Okay, which starter would you like? Desserts? Starter would you like? Uh, Star. <clears throat> um, it's dessert? Yeah, this was just like a conversational practice, remember? You didn't have to write there. Ah, okay. Okay.
Hello everyone, it's almost time to go. So wrap it up, send the screenshot, and we're leaving, okay? Send the screenshots, please, with your grades. We're about to leave, so please send the screenshots with your grades, please. Perfect. Did you have time to finish? Yes. No. Yes. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Please. You have a lot of new vocabulary today. So you can practice that vocabulary as well. And remember, you can use that vocabulary in a restaurant. That is very important. Yes. If you ever travel to the United States, that is going to be really, really useful vocabulary. Okay. Well, let's go with the last attendance because I know it's late and we need to wrap it up. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present, Miss. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present, Miss. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Present, Miss. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present, Miss. Henry Adonai Torres Gómez. Second, Miss. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, Miss. Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jonathan Josué Oliva Enríquez. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. I am here, Miss. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, Miss. Sandra mm. Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Seituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, Miss. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Present, Miss. Jacqueline Lisset García Miranda. Present, Miss. Okay, that will, that's perfect. Perfect attendance. Good, good job. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Remember to be working on the platform. Maybe tomorrow we're going to work a little bit more. Okay, have a Thank good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Have Bye. a good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank Bye. you. Good night. Bye. Have a good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.